John 2.15 Because you have known him who is from the beginning, I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of sinful man, the lust of his eyes and the boasting of what he has and does, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. Warning against Antichrists, dear children, this is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One. And all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is the man who denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a man is the Antichrist. He denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. See that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, even eternal life. I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to reach you. To teach you, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as the anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him, children of God. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born with him. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God and what we, what we will be has not yet been made known but we know that when he appears we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot go on sinning because he has been born of God. This is how we know the children of God are, who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not a child of God, neither is anyone who does not love his brother. Love one another. This is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, by bro my brothers. If the world hates you, we know that we have passed from death to life.
because we love our brothers. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. This, then, is how we know that we belong to the truth. <coughs> Excuse me. And how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. <coughs> Excuse me again, sorry. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and yeah, before God and receive from him anything we ask because we obey his commands do what pleases him and this is his command to believe in the name of the son Jesus Christ and to love one another as he commanded us those who obey his commands and those who commands those who obey his commands live in him i am so sorry for that <laughs> in him and he in them, and this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. And that's my little Bible reading for today, in my little normal soft-spoken voice. I hope you liked, enjoyed the video, and I hope you find your next video a good one. Enjoy. <laughs>